Awesome. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, we're, we're super excited for you guys jumping onto the call. I think there's still a bunch of people jumping on. Um, Lauren, are there, how many people are currently on the call? Uh, Andres, we've got 117, but still a couple of people jumping on. I'll just let them join as you go. So maybe okay. you want to take it away and they can, they can join as we go. Yeah, that's awesome. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, so welcome everybody. It's awesome to have you guys on the call. We've invited a lot of top producing agents across the country to come and attend the session. So we, we really appreciate the time this morning. The discussion this morning is going to be about how to run with 50 properties as an individual agent without compromising on your customer service and burning out as an agent. And we do that at Lido and through, through our software or our internal CRM system that's called Osmosis. Um, and that's going to be the, the main focus of this morning's discussion. And we are super excited about that. So just before we start the session, I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Andres Levi Victorious, and I head up the growth and strategic partnerships within, within Lido. And then my co-lead this morning is going to be the following lady. So Laura, maybe you want to introduce yourself to, to our audience this morning. Thanks, Andres. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us. As Andres said, super excited to have you here. So my name is Lauren Pulsa. I'm an agent on the West Strand with Lead Home, and I also head up the training of any new agents that are going to be onboarding. So hopefully see a lot of you guys uh, in the future on, on some of my training sessions. Absolutely. Thanks, Lauren. So just the agenda for this morning, we're going we're gonna to go through a quick introduction. Any good presentation starts with a problem statement, and we'll start off with that. Then Lauren's going to take over and she's going to go through the, the overview of osmosis. Um, then we're going through a whole agent journey. What does it look like from receiving the initial seller lead all the way through to actually listing it? And then what does that first sales journey look like on osmosis? And then if there's any time left, we're going to quickly go through some extra features or functions on the system. For example, agent workspace, the buy matching tool, which is pretty insane. Um, but we'll, we'll go through that as we go along. Like I've mentioned, any good presentation starts with a problem statement. And, um, and the problem for most agents, and I'm assuming most agents on this call as well, is you probably sit with one of the following problems. You either feel burnt out, you feel that you're not making enough money, and that you feel you never have time for anything else besides doing stuff um, that you can't always label what you do. Um, so that's the major problem. And, and, and this morning's discussion with, with regards to osmosis will be how do we outsource the majority of the functions for you so that you can actually not burn out, get more time and make more money. So obviously there's a lot of functions that cannot be automated and outsourced. And these are the functions that you as an agent, um, and I'm assuming that the majority of you guys on this call this morning are experts in the following four things. You understand how to negotiate and get that sole mandate with your, with your listing presentation. Um, you probably are the local expert within your area. You know how to negotiate with a potential buyer on a price and that you are probably a nice human being. You cannot automate and outsource those functions. For everything else, there's leader, you can outsource all the rest. And that is actually what today's discussion is gonna be all about. These are just some of the tools that we have on the, on the, on the platform and Lauren will be speaking about all of, the, all of them. But the main thing comes down to the following thing. As an agent, there's certain high value activities that you should be focusing on. And then, then actually the majority of the, the current activities that you're doing as an agent could be automated or outsourced. And I think with, with, through this whole discussion this morning, you'll see exactly how Osmo and our property advisor or even the leader model allows you um, to do exactly that. So I'm super excited for this morning's session. Again, thank you and welcome to the session. Lauren, over to you. There we go. Andres, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. As I said, welcome everybody. Thanks so much for joining. I really hope you kind of found this valuable and afterwards your mind's going to be blown by osmosis and what it can do and how it's going to solve those problems that Andres brought up because we've all experienced them. We all know that they're there. So osmosis is perfect to eliminate a lot of those and you know automate a lot of processes that, that previously are done quite manually. Exactly. So Lauren, just before you start, I just want to mention that all the questions, um, Lauren can't see them. So I'm going to be asking just Keep them in the chat box and then I'll, I'll ask them as we go through this whole session. Perfect. Yeah, and you, as they come through, you can just stop me and ask and we're happy to sort of take it from there. So yeah, guys, please pop as many questions as you like in the chat. We'll take it all from there. So just to start with an overview of what it looks like, here's your landing page for Osmosis once you have your login details. And just to show you the brief overview of where you find everything, kind of how it all works. Everything is easily located on the tab on the left-hand side. You can see as you hover your mouse over it long enough, 
it actually tells you what it is. So agent workspace, we've got your calendar. We'll go into more detail of certain of these things as we go through, but for now, it's just a brief overview. Your viewing feedback, you've got your cases, that's your buy and seller cases, contacts, your listings, companies, offers, bonds, so that links to our Bondspark team, the internal bond origination team at Leadome, so that's also here on Osmosis. Buyer leads workspace, there's more, there's your agent area allocation, the tech support, and then there's just your settings and updating insights. And obviously as agents, there's some of these that we use more than others, and the property advisors will use some more than others. If you haven't heard of a property advisor, you can check out our Instagram page and Facebook. We just had a post on what is a property advisor and what do they do? They save our lives in short. So with Osmosis and property advisors at Lido, you are sorted. So that's the overview of everything that's on Osmosis. And then um, before I jump on to the next thing, Andrew, so are there any questions, anything that's popped up? Someone asked what a, what a property advisor is. So Lauren, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you want advisor, you want maybe go going, yeah, maybe in two seconds, quickly say, okay. yeah, if you want to go into a bit more depth, yeah. Great, cool. So property advisor, as I say, they are lifesavers, they are a team, they're office-based or home-based now with good old COVID, but what they do is they actually handle all our buyer and seller leads, they book in the seller intros for us, they deal with every inquiry that comes through on every property, and they are like our rock stars. They book in all the viewings, they handle all the questions, inquiries, so you as the agent actually don't have to do that, whereas in a typical sense, you would be taking every call and every inquiry on your property. So the property advisors do that for us. That's a sort of very short summary version of what they are. Awesome. I think just on top of that, I think the big thing is, the question is how can you run with, with 50 properties and, and having the property advisors as part of your team is one of the ways that we leverage our team so that we can focus on the stuff that is really important. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, like, um, Absolutely. I think it's, it's that great sort of dream team of Osmosis and the property advisors working with us as the agents and it all just works perfectly together. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, as Andrew said in the agenda, we're going to show you sort of like the seller journey for you as an agent, you know, looking from the agent perspective more so than, than property advisor perspective, but how does it work from when that booking is made by a seller, and we're going to kind of take you all the way through the process with osmosis and show you some of the really cool and unique features that osmosis has that's going to end up in the things that Andres identified as problems, no longer being problems. You're not going to burn out, you're going to have more time, and you're going to make more money because actually you can run with those 30 to 50 properties, and you can sell a whole lot more than you could have without the system. Okay, so with Leadome, there's obviously two ways that, can be, uh, that sellers can book in a meeting with you as an agent. They can do it online through the website. They can go and do that, which is super, super easy, and go and check it out, go take a look at our website, try it out, it's super easy. Otherwise, they can also phone into the office and as I say, our Rockstar property advisors, they'll do that booking for you and they'll actually book it through. So we're gonna take it as somebody's made a booking, made an appointment, what happens for you as an agent from there? So first and foremost, um, you are going to get your email. This comes through, you haven't done anything, right? As the agent, you've literally done nothing except set up your calendar, which we'll show you just now. But you're sitting there, you're gonna get your email and this is what the client receives as well. So the minute they book it, they get this and it tells you your valuation meeting on the 9th of April at three o'clock. And it says there, hi Martin, it's Lauren Pulser from Lead Home. Thanks for booking the valuation. And then it tells them, you know, you're the expert for Wilkeville or for whatever area it is that you'll be servicing. Looking forward to meeting with you. It gives you all the details. I've got the, the, the seller's email, the seller's contact details. It still tells them if anything's incorrect there, here's my details where you can email me, you can call me with my picture and if you need help and I can't be reached, here's the office number, here's the times and all that. So this is really cool and it comes through automatically and you'll see that it looks like it's come from you. So that's really nice in that it's like that initial contact, the seller thinks that you've actually done it to the point where sellers have emailed me back and thanks Lauren, can't wait, see you soon. So it really comes across to them like you've done this, but really you've actually not had to do anything. So in terms of time saving, Massive, right? You've made that first good impression. And this comes through almost instantly once it's booked in. So you've got this, they've got this great first impression. And then you obviously now sort of will take you through the internal processes of what happens from there. Any questions there, Andre? So am I good to help? People are just saying, well, <laughs> that's it. No questions. Here. Awesome. That's the usual reaction with Osmo. So we love it. So from here, 
use an agent obviously as i said before what you do have to do beforehand but you can do this for like six months in advance to save you time is you're actually going to set up your calendar and then what we can see here is once it's booked through and you've got that email then you can actually see there's that meeting that i got the email through about it's popped through straight away into my calendar and i'll do a brief overview for you for the calendar now but that is sort of where it pulls through so you can see everything there's another one that came through after that one there's some of our meetings that we've got going on internally. So this is your osmosis calendar and it pulls through automatically into there. So before I move on into this actual listing itself, let me give you a brief sort of overview of the calendar. And I think what's really cool here, Andres, maybe you can kind of even come in on this, but as sort of typical traditional agents, you don't have as much control over your diary, right? When people want to see you. It's like they phone you and they want to see you and now you kind of scramble and, and make time and, it's a little bit all over the place. So am I correct in that? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that that causes that burnout. You know, you, you, you've you got to be available 24 seven and you've got to be everything for everyone all the time and you can't. Um, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So the great thing about osmosis, what you do is you set your calendar, you set your availability. When are you around? When are you not? We all know like life gets busy and hectic. You want the family time. That was one of the bigger problems that came along. So if there's times where you need to fetch the kids from school or you, they've got a soccer match that afternoon, Osmo allows you to block out certain times. I mean, you can see this one, our team has a, a team social that we're going to. So the time gets blocked out in the diary. No one can book it in. You get to control the time that you are going to allocate to your seller intros or to whatever it might be. So a brief overview of the calendar that we have. Any seller intro meetings that get booked in are gonna come through in the red. Any work events that are there are going to come through in this brownie gold color and anything personal where you've blocked it out if you're on leave or whatever it might be that you have is in blue over there. And the times that you've set available always come up in this kind of gray color. So it's really sort of easy if you ever forget it when you're on there, you just scroll down to the bottom and there's a nice little key there that tells you exactly what is going on. If you were showing any properties, the buyer viewings would pop up in purple for you. So it's really easy, really easy to understand. And really cool as well is that the Osmosis calendar does sync and link up to your Google calendar. So that is really great. So you download the Google calendar app on your phone and all the reminders of all of this is going to pop up then on your phone with the addresses linked with the seller contact details. You don't have to like have a physical diary in front of you. It makes life so much easier. Any questions on the calendar before I sort of move on? Yeah, there was one that I just, just scrolled down there, Lauren. Um, they were asking about the difference between a buyer, I think it was a seller intro and a buyer viewing. Um, just maybe say something about the majority of our, of our agents or the sellers choose the option where they actually want to show the property themselves. Yes, absolutely. That's a great question. So you'll see that there's no buyer viewing showing in my calendar because um, as you say, predominantly at Lead Home, the way that our model works and, and what works really well, and we find it works why we sell a lot of properties and a lot more, is that typically our sellers do so, uh, show their own property. We as the agent don't actually go and show the property. And as much as it might sound strange and weird because the traditional way of doing it was always that the agent was there and seller and buyer should never meet, but actually there's so many benefits to it. And I mean, for you as an agent, the first one is, how much more time you have available now. I mean, I'm currently sitting with 34 live listings. And if I was trying to do viewings for 34 live listings, this whole page would be purple, right? Um, you wouldn't have any time for anything. And I think that's what's typically happening with people and why they're burning out. But when your sellers are doing the viewings, you can have those 30 to 50 properties and you can still have this time available to take on more properties, to negotiate offers with your buyers, to do the things that add value. So at Lido, we really strongly believe in like doing things that add value. So the sellers set their schedule, which is great because they can do it to their schedule and they know the home much better than we do. So any of the questions that somebody wants to ask them, they can ask away, you know, you know your own home like far better than anyone else. You can tell them about the neighbors, you can tell them about the traffic, you can tell them everything. So traditionally and typically at Lead Home, the sellers do do the viewings. If there is someone who can't, there are obviously sometimes reasons they can't, maybe they don't even live here, they actually live down in Durban or something, they can't show it. That is why that option is there for being able to do the buyer viewings, but it's very seldom that we kind of do that. And typically it's better to have your time available and that does help prevent that burnout. Lauren, I just wanna make a comment on that. So um, 
two things. The first thing is I speak to a lot of agents and they said to me, they start feeling, and I think you might feel the same, you start feeling like a tour guide. Um, and you're not a tour guide at all. So you shouldn't be running around after buyers 24 seven. First thing, and the second thing is 93% of our sellers choose the option where they actually want to sell the property or, or show the property themselves to the, to the potential buyer. Thirdly, Lauren, this is a quick question. Someone asked about security. Um, if maybe you want to give a comment on that. For sure. Also, valid question. And this is one that comes up with the sellers as well. So we do verify every single buyer that wants to go through and view the property. We take their ID number and we verify them through a system called This Is Me. That checks that they are who they say they are. So when they make the booking, we make sure that the name matches up with the ID number and it comes through. And then when they go and view that property, they have to produce their ID or driver's license to the seller before they can even enter the property. So we're very security conscious and sort of touch wood, you know, in, in the five plus years that Lido has been operational, we haven't had issues. And, you know, that ID verification is why no one is going to take a chance and try and book a viewing and do something a bit dodgy when we actually know exactly who you are because we've taken your ID number and we know. So that is there in place for security. And we also just reassure our sellers that like, if for some reason you feel uncomfortable, like you don't have to let someone in through your door if there's any weird feeling or vibe, you know, we just reassure them and give them that. But usually once we tell them about verification, super happy. Well, just a last comment before you go into the next section. It is actually, there's more safety with this process because I think a lot of agents hardly ever go through that step of actually asking for, for IDs and actually doing a verification of the people they're going with to a potential property. So I think um, this process is, is actually more secure than the agent going out to the potential buyer. Absolutely. Okay, go to the next section. Okay, so from here, we've seen that the meeting is booked in. You can see it over there, 33 Gold Crest Lane. It's very easy to go straight into this actual listing has already been created for you in the actual system, which is great. You haven't had to do it yet, do anything yet. You've actually just kind of gone into your calendar. So when you click on the actual red piece there, it brings it up. Anything that highlights in red means you can click on it and it's going to open into something else. So we want to actually go into the listing. I'm just going to open it into another tab. You literally just click on the address. You can click on the person's name. That'll take you to the contact. You can click on whatever you want to. Also quite nice to note from there, I did jump through it. Um, you can actually make calls directly from here. So you can see there's a little call button. There's an email button. There's a, a text button. So you can actually do that straight from your PC, which is really great. Um, you don't have to sit and like use your phone and do all of that. So very quick access to everything as well. Then once you've opened that listing, this is how it'll open up for you. As I say, this is all populated already. You haven't had to do anything yet. This is created for you. You're going to add in certain details, but this is how it pops up. Really nice, really cool, really quick. All your Lightstone reports are already there. It's linked up, it's synced through. Once the address is there and created, you don't even have to log into Lightstone. As soon as you want it, you can see that it says Lightstone reports. Whichever one you want, you just click on it and it'll open in a new tab for you. So you've clicked property report, there's your property report. If you want the suburb report, you've clicked it, it's opened up for you, there's the suburb report. And if you want the sectional scheme, you click, there's your sectional scheme. So super easy, again, like all designed to save time. Don't log into Lightstone, don't search the address, do all of that. One click and you have everything that you need over there. So there's your Lightstone report. And then I will come back to the valuation. We'll look at that in a minute. But there's space for your mandate, which we'll also look at. But you can see a lot of this is populated already with the address details, all that kind of thing. And then further down is where once you've actually gone for the meeting, which we'll look at one that is populated just now. But once you've gone and you've met the client, you're going to populate the details here. What's the property type? How many beds does it have? How many baths? How many living areas? And then there's also a space for you to define the features that it has, which obviously this all pulls through to property 24. So make sure you're always identifying features correctly because if people are searching specifically for a garden, this will make sure that this property pops up to them when they are searching. So it's all linked through there, which is great. And then you can also add as many comments and notes as you want, which is also fantastic. So something to note is that the property advisors can also see all of this information. As I said, they do a lot of the inquiries and things. So you might be wondering, Oh, well, how's the uh, property advisor going to help when they haven't been to the home? They're going to help because you're going to populate this with as much information as you can. You know, does it have electric fencing? Does it have a gas stove? Everything that you can, you're going to put in here. So when a property advisor is on the phone with a client, with a buyer, 
they open this up, they're gonna to go to your notes and between your notes and this section, they can answer any question. And it's like they have been to the house themselves. And it saves you having to repetitively take calls and answer the same questions that actually like flip can and not just type it somewhere and it's there for someone to see. So this is how it looks in your sort of overall page. Once you have populated all of this, you've now seen the property, you've seen the seller, you've met them, you've populated it. Now you have to send them the evaluation. Really easy. And I think, Andres, this is always what blows people's minds. So I can't wait to see the comments that come through on this one because they get well, really excited. Well, there's already <laughs> been a lot of people saying, wow, this is awesome. So okay, fantastic. Many people so, commenting on, on the user failures of the, of the interface, which is cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it yeah. really is. It tells you exactly what to do when and how. So it, it makes it really easy. So you've populated everything. Now you want to do your valuation. You can see here, valuation. Valuation isn't complete. Click here to do valuation. Really simple. So anywhere in this box, you can actually click. And then it takes you into our valuation wizard, which is like, this tool is incredible. It, it just, the functionality, I mean, I can spend an hour alone just going through this. I won't but I can, but you know, cause there's so much in here, but to give you a brief overview, you're going to see all of these things, you complete them, you fill in the details. Every time you click save, it jumps you down and you complete each of these sections, right? So the reason for selling, we also just capture a lot of information, which we need, you know, to know why they're selling, the layout. Really cool is once you've populated beds, baths, the layout actually pulls through into this already. You're just double checking it. If they've done renovations, what are the features? Is it on the market? Do they have tenants? It automatically pulls through your area growth, which is quite nice. I haven't typed in exactly what I needed to for now, but once you type in the suburb, it'll bring it up automatically. It links to Lightstone, so you don't have to go and do that. Really nice, really impressive. This section is actually also, I love this section. It's really helpful when you're trying to, to get people to price correctly. You can actually add in comparable properties in the area that are like this. So you can see here, you can go straight into property 24 just by clicking on here and it opens into a new tab. And then you type in whatever area you're looking at, clear all the filters and say it says Belt of Freden Park. When it says how many properties are there, there are 201. So you would literally just type in 201 properties in there. Obviously this is not all here, but just showing you an example. And then once you've got the beds and baths in there, you would specify here and you would say, okay, now we're looking at a townhouse with three bedrooms and say two bathrooms. Cause now you're trying to find properties that are really similar. There's 22. So you would type in 22. And then here, once you find a property that is similar that you feel like looks like that property, all you have to do once you click search and then all of these come up, I'm just gonna choose anything. Let's just choose this one. If you think this one you've had a look through and it works, you just copy the link straight from there. You paste it in here and then you're going to type in the asking price. I'm not going to do the whole process now, but you type it all in there and you're going to click add and that is going to come through. I'll show you a full valuation report that's going to come through and show you that exact property and actually you can click on it. As a, as a seller, you can go and click on it. It'll take you straight to the link and I'll show you that in a second. So that's really cool. And then also your comparable sales tab. So again, this is pulled through straight from Lightstone. You can set the distance, how far of a range are you looking for? You can see was it sold within 12 months or maybe more, maybe less, and even the size range. And then it brings up as many properties as it can that it feels links into the criteria you're looking at. And you choose which ones you wanna to show to the seller on the evaluation report. So you can go through it and look and choose these. And again, I'll show you how this comes through, but this is also so easy. You don't have to go and do anything. It pulls it through for you. Then I'm going to show you on one because I haven't done this one. It isn't allowing me to jump into the next sort of stage, but I'll show you on a property that has got one done, what the final page looks like. So once you've done everything, you're gonna to get to the send or download part. And this is also amazing. This is all done for you. The address is put in there. Your email subject is put in. And this email here, this body of this email is already populated. You can add to it though. So, you know, it, it'll come up a more generic version and you can add whatever you want and personalize it and, and make it, but you don't have to sit and type the whole thing. Um, it's got the way forward. It's got everything that goes there. So it highlights all our best features there. And straight from here, you can attach whatever mandate you want, and that'll come through with the valuation report. So open or sole and the booking sheet as well. 
So before I kind of show you one, Andrew says that, are there any questions or anything there before I move on to showing you an actual valuation? Lauren, just again, a lot of people saying, well, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, Google, <laughs> it seems like us are super impressed um, awesome. with the system. Perfect, um, and I think we haven't yeah. even got to the wow section yet because we haven't shown you yet like how it, <laughs> how yeah. it comes through. But so, I was going to say, so once that's been done, you have the option mm -hmm. there to actually send the email through to the, to the seller through the system. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. absolutely. Sorry, let me show you that right now. So you literally can, once you've done it, and the, you can preview it first, which just shows you, is everything right? Is, are you happy with everything? And then once you are done, you just say send email to client now from here, and it sends it straight. So you don't even actually have to open your Gmail or anything to send it. You just send it straight from here. So when you do preview it, and this is how your actual client is going to receive it, this is not for this property particularly, but it's just evaluation that's been done previously. This is what they receive in their email. And then I'll also show you the email that they actually get there as well. So this is the address of the property. That's when it's done for the seller by yourself as the agent. Again, it puts your picture, it gives you the signature, all your details, identifies the features. This is all stuff you've put into that report that's gone down in that checklist. There's renovations that were done and there's this area growth, which is really nice. I think these graphs really like impress people and you haven't had to do anything. It's just pulled it through and it looks like you spent hours and you spent like five minutes. What does it mean? It even explains to everybody what that means and what the area growth means. Here's that we, what we spoke about where you entered those numbers, how many homes are for sale in the area and how many of them are similar to your property. So on this one, we couldn't find the comparables. Let me actually get a better one that's got some comparables for you because this one is quite a unique home. So it was a little bit tricky to, uh, to find comparables, but I'll open this one for you and then I will come back to it. I'll show just you. While, just while Lauren's doing that, um, it's an interesting stat is that 85% of our of our um, listings that go live are actually sold at that exact same price, which means that this valuation tool is extremely accurate. Um, it pulls the correct data. And I think it's, a, it's an incredible uh, report to give to a seller in order to negotiate on that, on that perfect selling price, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, Andrews, it really is. Like you hit the nail on the head there. Um, so yeah, on this one, this is one that has got the comparables in here. It identifies what the average listing price is. This is based on the ones that you've chosen. And you can see here that you can actually click straight on this link. I did it into a new tab just to not close this tab for you guys. But once you click on it, okay, it has been sold, but it would bring up the link that you've identified there. So it's really amazing that they can just click on these and it's going to take them there and show them, hey, these are homes that are similar. So we can't be pricing too much more or anything like that. So yeah, really a great tool to get them into the right price from the very beginning. So that's that functionality. And this is where you selected which properties have been sold, the comparable sales properties, right? So here, the 493, these numbers here, the 493, that comes straight from your Lightstone data and, and that information automatically gets pulled in. You haven't had to do anything like that. And then it says that there's 41 in 196 homes sold. So that's sort of, it explains to you exactly how that breakdown comes through. This number is really nice. 386 lead home buyers are actively searching. So these are buyers that we have that are on our system, our database captured. They are looking at properties that meet this sort of criteria. So that's a really nice one that always comes up. Um, and then it just tells you there like the average sold price um, is sort of whatever that is, whatever you've selected here. And then you've just shown them that these are two properties that actually have sold recently to try and again, guide them into the right price point right from the beginning. And then it just comes down to say, what else do we consider? We look at the economic conditions, all these other things. And then it tells you here, you've identified that this is the range where we believe the home will sell at, max 1.6, minimum 1.5. And it just tells them there, like that's what they bought for and in what year. Again, all done for you, you haven't done any of this. There's the 85% that Andres was talking about, that 85% of the homes do sell at the prices that we actually end up recommending here. And then it just gives the nice stuff here, like a little bit more of the fluffy stuff, like pay only on successful transfer. It's a stress-free, awesome service. And then there's like a nice little review there at the end and then just says there's zero risk because you only pay on successful sale. And again, it brings up your details that are you ready? Here's my number, here's my email address, as well as the office number that if they can't reach you, they can reach the office.
So this is how they actually receive it. And they well, actually- Well, I just want to say that you said there 9,000 sales have been made. I think we're sitting at 15,000. So I think that should be updated. That definitely um, updated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at least we okay. sell them so quick that like, I think the tech team can't keep up. Like they've got you. <laughs> <laughs> one have been updating it every day so the four guys we have to say to them like hey wait yeah. for a bit. absolutely it needs to be updated 9000 is a little bit out of date for sure and then just so that you can see um what the client receives once you have hit that send button they get this email there's that that body that i said most of it's populated for you you've just tweaked it and personalized a little bit and then you can see that there's the attachments, there's the actual valuation, sole mandate, open and booking sheet. You've chosen what to attach there, but literally click, click, send, and this is what they get. So it's really professional and really it takes half the time. I know from a lot of the training we've done, a lot of the other agents are like Flip Lauren, valuations used to take me so long with like import this, export that, copy that, you know, change it to PDF, do everything. So, I mean, I don't know if there's any questions or comments there from you, Andres, or from anyone in the chat. Yeah, well, I just want to quickly make a comment on that as well. I think I, I, I know a lot of the agents actually pitch up at the, 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 the listing presentation or the seller intro with their, with their iPads, and they actually do the, the listing presentation or the valuation on their tool or on the iPad right in front of the client, uh, which is always a very massive um, wow factor for the, for the seller. Yes, absolutely. It's a very important point, actually, that you bring up that Osmosis is mobile friendly. So you can do it on your phone, you can do it on your iPad, you can sit with the client and do the, the actual valuation, which is really great. And as you say, it does really well then that they like see how it works and up to you as an agent, if you want to do it in front of them or not, but both options are there for you. And it is a really impressive tool, but even that email that they get, I think most of the comments from sellers is that they don't get anything like that from another agent in terms of evaluation. Okay, everybody happy there with that? Perfect. So. Now you've done the valuation. I'm just going to use this listing that's open for us now because this is one that's been populated. So you'll see that I spoke about populating it there. It's a house, three beds, two baths. So that's obviously how it's going to look once you've done it. You've selected what it has. You've filled in your comments and notes. It even tells you clients won't see this. This is just internal. But you know, I've got their beams outside alarm, covered patio. I just, I just chuck everything in, like word vomit in there so that the property advisors have an overflow of information. So this is now a populated listing where you've done the valuation. Now they are like, great, we're happy. We're gonna give you the mandate. So they've either signed it with you in the meeting or they've done it and emailed it back to you, whichever way you've gone collected it, whatever you have it, you now have that actual mandate. You're gonna load it onto the system. Also very easy. So the great thing about Osmosis is like all your documentation is always there because we upload everything. We upload offer to purchase, we upload seller disclosures, all the FICA docs, everything. So it's accessible for everyone as well. It's like, you don't have to have post sales phoning and asking this, they can just log straight on and get everything. So you would upload your mandate, populate all the details, the expiry date, who's doing the viewing. So this is where you can, you know, if you were doing the viewings, you would change it, but 90% of the time it's the seller. And then just check that the fee is correct. And once you hit save, this is really quite cool, Andres, that we can show you here. So the minute that you hit save on there, I'm just going to have to scroll a bit down because this was a little while ago. But once you do do that, your activity tab, what it does actually, the minute you do it, it sends a notification to photography, to the photography team to say, please send a photographer for this property because the mandate's loaded. The photographer then contacts the client directly, makes the arrangement and they just CC you as the agent and say, you know, this is the date that we're going to take photographs. So it's such an automated process, again, where you're not doing it, it's actually doing it for you. The activity tab keeps, you can see it keeps the activity of everything, every viewer that's gone through. So I just wanna show you how that sort of comes through on that side. Sorry, it was quite a, quite a popular property. So quite Someone a lot. Asked about the, um... They ask if, if you so you don't actually phone the photographer to say to them as if he's got to the, the viewing and, and and the answer to that is no it's, it's automated um the system alerts the photography team immediately that you've, you've got to go out and go and take photos of a specific unit i think in a different session we can maybe speak about the business units and how these teams are made up um but that's a discussion for a different day but every team has specific photographers allocated to that specific team uh, which means that these teams operate as a very effective support team um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Andres, yeah. 
that's the answer to the question. No, you don't do anything. You load the mandate. That's what you do. You load the mandate, then this happens. Book photography, and you'll see lead home photography, they get the email to say, please do that. They deal with the photographer, they do everything. You just get that notification once they've booked a shoot, you'll get a CC and an email to say, here's the date, here's the time confirmed with the client. So it's really amazing. So that's what happens as soon as you load the mandate. And then, yeah, you get it confirmed. Once your photographs come through, you'll see on the listing itself here, it says Lauren Pelser, photos loaded. You get an email that looks like this. It says, there's the property, the photos are loaded. You can go straight to the listing, straight from your email. You just click on there and in a new tab, it's gonna open up your listing and it's going to show you there that the photos are now in and you'll see on the empty one, on the previous sort of one that was not, no man had nothing, this was empty. Now there's a photograph there. And you can see once you look at your photographs tab, yeah, your photos, they're all there. And they're super easy to, they won't come in their order, they let you reorder them because as an agent, that's where your expertise comes in and what's gonna work best, but like super easy, you drag it and you drop it and you move it and you change it. You can hide the photos, you can actually delete ones if you don't want them. So you have full control over what you wanna do at this part of the process. But the photos are loaded, you get that email, it tells you straight away. Yeah, Lauren, so someone asked, so you don't actually upload the photos yourself and the answer to that is again, no. So the photography team actually uploads the photos for you. Again, <laughs> it's automated, it's outsourced so that you can focus on what you do uh, best. So, yeah, I mean, this is why Lead Home and Osmo and the teams, guys, a little, even better little feature, like sometimes a photography team even actually makes your, your property go live for you. If you're out on the road and you're busy, as long as you've prepped everything on Osmo, you put a little ad mention to them and say, please make the property go live and they will do it for you. Because it's so easy and so you know simple on the system, they can do it for you. You just arrange your pictures, you put in your description, and off you go. You're ready to go. So, really, time saver on that one too. Like you're on the road and your properties are going live, which is amazing. So now you've done that. You've got the mandate. The photos are in. You're ready to make the property go live. So this is kind of the final thing we'll look at really in detail with Osmosis. It's super super simple. Your go live tab is is literally. A reminder of everything so you'll see here in order to publish the listing it tells you you need to have the mandate they have to have the photos you have to have property details availability needs to be set so there is this calendar function here this is where you set your seller's availability they tell you like lauren these are the days and times and you can see it in this tea leaf kind of color here that that's where they're available there's those buyer viewings that we said that they are they're coming through so you set the calendar there for them Again, we won't go through how to do that, but it's really easy, really simple. And then once you've done all of these things, it's so easy. So I'll quickly show you where you put your details in terms of your, your property heading and your property description. That's literally just at the bottom. It says their property title, description. You type in whatever you want. It's even got the functionality to tell you when you've made a spelling mistake, which is great. Highlights it under there for you in red. And there's your title and has the pictures here. So if you kind of like, oh, did I miss anything? Did I, you can actually scroll through your pictures again and just be sure that like your description kind of suits everything you've said. So you've populated that. That um, tick list on Osmo even tells you if you've left out the rates and taxes and it's a, or a sectional title and you've left out the levies, it's going to highlight it and bring up in yellow and say, you haven't actually put rates and taxes or you haven't put the levy. So it literally makes it that easy that like, you can't forget a detail. Osmo ensures that you can't. So once you've done all of that, it's super easy. There's your listing price and there's the suburb that you're gonna list in. You're always just gonna make sure that this button is ticked, that people can book viewings because that means they can book them on the website. If you switch this off, it means they can't book it on the website. They can still phone, but the only time you would switch this off is if you know that there's a solid offer and, and now your seller doesn't wanna take more viewings, but it's really simple. You just click a button and it happens. That's the, all of these things, super, super easy. There is space for YouTube links. So if you've had one of those, I think something to mention, we each get six featured listings at Lead Home with uh, that's for Property 24, that you get those six featured listings. And you also get one um, listing a month that you can do a 3D virtual tour for. That's really great. And Lead Home's paying for this, right? Like you're not paying for this, like Lead Home is paying for this. So there's a YouTube link if you're doing a video walkthrough and then the Matterport link for if there's the 3D virtual tour there. So those literally just get popped in there. And before the question comes through, you don't have to populate those links, they're done for you. So you get the link, photography team pops it in there, 
easy. They link it up. So well, you know. I just quickly want to mention, so that's it's, it's six featured listings per month. Um, mm. So I think someone asked you if it's forever, it's six per month, and then the, the one video to a per month as well. Yeah. Yes, correct, 100%. And you'll see that once you have listed, it shows you the portals and you can see that they are live and you can actually click to view it straight away if you want to check that your listing looks okay. But really, when you are ready, all you do is you click across this button. It will be grayed out and it will be on the other side. And then you're just going to click it across. I'll show you how it looks when it's not done, when the property isn't live. And you can also see the checklist that the checklist won't be ticked in blue because none of those things would have been done yet. And um, then you know you're not ready to go live. So you can see it's got a cross there. And that's where I sh showed you that uh, the property details there, following fields are outstanding. There's no property type, there's no title, there's no description. We haven't filled in anything. So that kind of updates as you go. And there, this button, you can see it's that way. It isn't ticked across because we haven't made it go live yet. So it's so easy though. Once everything is ready, you just click that button and immediately it goes live onto all the portals that we list on. So really easy. And actually, even your for sale board, you don't have to put up yourself. You actually can ask someone to do that. We have the team that does that for us. So we are very spoiled and very lucky. All you do, there is Kirsty in the office. Uh, you just go at Kirsty and you just go for sale board, please. And you hit send and then that will be done. The same with the sold board. You don't even actually type it. When the property gets sold, post sales says, the property is under offer, please put a uh, sold board outside. So you don't even actually have to type it. It gets done for you. So very, very spoiled. These get done for us. We don't even have to go and hammer them in. It's really amazing. So then your property's live. The board will be done for you. Your seller gets these amazing emails and the buyers as well. Andrews, do you want me to run through those with you? Um, Laura, I think let's, I think we're running a bit out of time. So I think we can, yeah, okay. So these are the emails. I think but let's yeah. go to the promote button so long. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the promote button. Uh, there we go. Just want to see here. Sorry, I'm going to scroll back up to the top. So, what happens as well is the minute that you go live with the property, all the buyers that have searched and are on our database that are looking for a property like this one, they get an email automatically that tells them this property has now gone live. It's on the market. You don't have to do it. It does it automatically for you. And as we mentioned before, that buyer matching function is there. It's just being a bit slow. Okay, so this is really lacquer, okay? 1,554 buyers, that is just on our database alone, are looking for a property that fits this criteria, okay? And once you list the property, as soon as you hit go live, all of those people get this email that says, this one. This property is an exact match for you. It gives them a picture. It gives them this to go straight into view to book an appointment. Otherwise, they can even call it from there. So that is automated. You haven't done anything. You haven't typed a single thing, but it comes through and it gets sent to them. Then if it's been on the market for a while and it's a little bit like not getting the traction you want, if you want to send it again and you want to go and shuffle around some photos, maybe do a bit of a price reduction, you want to go here go to sent and unsent. All you do is you select that. And by clicking one button, that button, I can send it to 1,554 people in that one second. And it's done. Like they, they all get that email. Fantastic. I haven't had to do anything except select and hit send. People are asking, where do we sign up? <laughs> <laughs> We're not even done yet, you guys. We're almost done. But we'll so, show yeah. you where you guys can sign up. Yeah, well, Andres will take you through that with absolute pleasure. <laughs> so yeah, that's really an amazing tool as well, that buyer matching tool. And if you want to ever feature your listings, because we know that that's something also that, you know, gets a lot of traction, especially if you've done like a nice little price reduction. It's super simple, straight on your activity tab. As soon as you go into there, you can just type, you'll see this little app mention function, which is really like, you can actually talk to anyone in the whole company through this function. You just type at and you start putting their name in and you can ask them anything and it links them to the listing so when you want to do a featured listing photography does it for you you say at Lido and photography you say featured listing please and you hit save your listing will be featured you don't have to do anything else like it's as quick and as easy as that so i think that's also like a time saver for everybody that they don't have to do that for themselves
Okay, so now that we've looked at the whole process from start sort of through to listing of when does the seller book an appointment, going through to listing, something we wanted to show you quickly before we end off is just, this is going to blow your mind and I'm sure you're going to want more, but we'll give you more at another time. But something that is also in Osmosis is your agent workspace. So this is like the best, it's like having a virtual assistant really is the way that I can sort of equate it to anything. It keeps notes of whatever's upcoming for however many you have upcoming, it will be shown in here. So there's your diary for sort of the foreseeable future, shows you all your intros that are coming through. It actually, all of these tabs will sort of explain in more detail, but it tells you if there's valuations that you haven't done. It tells you which valuations you actually can still chase up and go and look for, like you met with that client, but they didn't sign. So like, instead of sifting through your diary and finding things, it's all here. And you can see that like all these properties are there and you can follow up with people. The mandates that you didn't get, you can go through those as well. There's quite a few in here. You clear it out as well. So this is very much in your control. If you've properly lost a property, you actually just sort of sweep it out. I'm not gonna look at all of this in too much detail because um, Andrews will do another session with our, our expert on the agent workspace. He'll run through it. It tells you how many properties you've got that are like on prep or, or needing photographs taken so you can check where all your properties are. It shows you all your live listings. It shows you how many properties have you got sitting with post sales at the moment. So you've got offers that are running. And then it also tells you how many properties you've lost over there. So as I say, I'm not going to run through all of it now, but it, it is sort of such a centralized place to go and find everything and to go back and chase those old mandates that you need to chase that stock do a bit of price counseling. You can see all your listings that are live as well. And you can see Wayne, who we're looking at here. We're looking at his agent. We're going to 71 live listings. I'm sure you guys would love to run with 71 live listings and still actually have a life because Wayne does still actually have a life, which is great. <laughs> but yeah. I just make, want to make a quick comment. So those seller interests on the left-hand side, the five seller interests, those have all been booked through the Lidom system. So it's someone that went onto the actual website and they said they want to sell their property and that lead just literally fell through the funnel into Wayne's uh, a diary, um, which yeah. is incredible. Yeah. Lauren, I think, I think from, from my side and based on the feedback, I think this is more than enough for today. Um, is there anything else that you want to mention before we jump off? No, look, I think we've kind of information overloaded people a little bit, but in like the best possible way. So I think um, they can look forward to some other videos down the line where we can go into more detail with everything. But I think for today, yeah. and if you're happy, I think that this has been quite a lot for them and hopefully a lot of awesomeness. Yeah, absolutely. And I think like Ryan said, there's still a lot of functionality that we can go into today, but I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an, an info overload. So from my side, thank you guys so much for your time. Um, I will be in contact. You guys will receive an email from us to say what the next possible steps could be. If you want to join the company, um, the, 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 the recruitment process into Lidom is quite vigorous. Um, but hopefully we see a lot of your faces into the company in the near future. But thank you guys so much for being here. And we look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks, Lauren, again for your time as well. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Cool. Okay, Lauren, and then just the